who can use this as a camera stand? It's a B175 size 10 thread. You can use yellow, or in this case, I'm using the light K hole and 80. Now, when you put down a layer of thread along the shank, just basically making sure the shank's mainly covered. It gives you plenty of grip. And you stop it just before it goes round the bend. Now, the tail, the tail is this is mallard flank. Now, this is the original feather or the natural which is this grey, then it gets dyed all of yellow and then to highlight it the, the wee bit I'm going to use this is a sunburst hackle, it's a Chinese cock hackle, it's got slightly slightly brighter now you only need a few fibres of each now meaning three or four so what I'm going to do here is bring out the fibres 90 degrees from the stem tear it off now again you get, it doesn't matter the sequence really uh, so you're looking maybe three fibres or so of the dyed olive mallard flank just line up the ends bring it in you do that with the yellow and then the natural so again the same just bring them out bring the fibres up so they're in line once they're in line you tear them off bring them together then finally we have the, the natural the grey itself again just Come in, three to four fibres, slide it so the tips line up, pinch them together and tear it. And then you can tie it on. Length, you're looking round about the length, at least the length of the hook. Just come round, offer it to my side, come round. And then tie it on top. And there you are, it's just a nice, nice mix. You could mix it a wee bit more, but that's fine. Body length, you're looking at least two thirds the shank because you need to give yourself plenty of room up the head for all these hackles. Now, I'm giving myself, let's say, if you look at the shank length, two thirds. Use these cut ends as a guide so you get a measure. The rib of the fly I'm using, this is a unifloss in hot orange, just a fluorescent orange. Just going to tighten up this end. Again, I'm going to tie in the full length of the body and then tidy up, just run the thread up and quickly come back down now, just check your length here it's just tied too long so you can always trim it, you need this as a measure to keep you right and then you to the top and you head back down quite quick now the body itself is natural seals fur and yellow blended together. Natural is a creamy colour. You just blend them together. Dub it onto your, your thread. Reasonably loose, not too tight. Slide it up. Do that first turn to get it to basically anchor. As you twist the, the dub to that point. And then just form a taper. So work your way up, tightening up as you go, do a wee twist here and there just to make sure the dubbing doesn't pull off. And then there we are at the top. Now for the floss I like to twist it, make it a wee bit tighter, and then rub all the way up. Get to this point here, just draw back any fibres going forward and use the floss to hold it. Come in with the thread. Nice and tight. Make sure it's tied in. And I'm just going to put a wee bit of wax on my thread at this point. Tidy up that area. Now we can use our Velcro and just bring out some of the, the seals for. So watch your thread, you don't catch your thread. Now Two hackles, the first two hackles to go on. This is a like a peachy orange. It's quite it's a nice orange, like a fluorescent orange, and then the sunburst. Now these are just Chinese cock necks. I went two hackles are much the same length. Now with these I'm only wanting to turn the hackle, I don't want any more. Now you will get I usually get about three flies out of these. You can wind these both together. Just set them on top of one another and then 
basically get the length, tear away, fluff at the bottom. And then it's important that you wax a thread to give yourself grip. Two or three turns down, just I'm leaving these ends here at the moment. Now you have to keep yourself down to one turn of these both hackles together. No, don't put any more in. Tie them in. You can trim this away. Trim away the hackle stems. And then thing going forward, just draw it back. Use the thread turns to hold it. Tied up that area. So that's two hackles, that's the first two. The next one is a French partridge dyed with hot orange. Now we just need a small hackle. There's your French partridge there. You tie it in by the tip. Now we only need again a turn of this. You can't do any more. If you do, you'll just overdress the fly. Come in with a couple of turns and fold back the tip. Two or three turns more. Screws it in and then basically bring the tip out and trim it away and then again round once and a wee 90 degree bend in there making sure the thread turns again into the stem two or three turns down trim away the excess and tidy up and take away that step. Come back up. And that's the next part. There we are. Now we tie in the mild flank and olive first, then the yellow and then the, the natural. So I'm lightening up as I go. Again we tie this in by the tip. Now at this point what I'm doing here is I'm taking away some of the the step or the taper is too steep so I'm using the hackle full length there just to tie that in. It helps to stop it sort of falling. If you go too steep it'll just fall off. Again come in, 90 degree bend. Just watch you don't catch any of these fibres. Now this 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 hackle here will probably get another another hackle. I'm just gonna go back here because it's not not as much as I like, just a second. Just the way it's folded, so sometimes if you go back the hackle will sit better the second time. Let me see. Yeah, that's a bit better. That's about a ton and a bit there actually. Because the hackle's quite sparse there, so you're really working. There's not enough at the tip there, so but anyway, that's enough. Ton and a bit there. Again I'm just gonna catch it in, trim away the excess. Again, I'm going to tidy up this area. Coming back up. See how it's sitting. Now, it'll certainly test your tying skills out this fly. T test me out. Just go about to watch what you're doing. It's normally what changes the way it's tied is the hackles. It's working around what you have. Now, I've got the yellow. And this is where fifth hackle, if I've counted right. Trim that away. I'm going to put a wee bit of wax on my thread again. Make sure it's going to stick. Come all the way around. Come up. Ninth degree bend into the stem. Always keeping the thread tight. Just watching how it's going to sit. Happy with that then, just watch what you're doing, just come in and try the stem, again, tidy up. Sometimes they sit better than others, just a wee bit, gets to be a lot, and I mean I know it does look a lot of material, but these type of flies do, they do, they do catch, now onto the grey, Drawing back some of the fluff here, just to be tad too much. Just moisten it so it's, you can control it. And then come in again, in by the tip. Obviously with the natural curve of, of the front of the feather facing towards the eye. Now what I'm going to do here is just come right down. 
trim that away, make sure the tip's tied in. Come round, see how much we've got here, because the grey one's important. You get a nice turn or so, just checking, I'm checking your side. See how the feather's sitting. Now I'm going back a wee bit just to make sure it's sitting right. All the way around, keeping it, keeping it tight, even twisting the stem of the hackle to get it to roll and sit right, because sometimes you have to do that. Come round and I'm winding this towards myself. Now, what I'm going to do here is just basically fold back this hackle, because it's, I want to just fill up that area. I mean, it, it's, how can I put it, uh, just one of those flies, and I'll break that off. Just get a neater cut. Now what I'm doing here is basically untwisting the fibres because they are twisted by we're turning them or winding them on. So I just draw them back. A wee bit of wax on my thread. Final hackle. It's a dyed sunburst. This is guinea fowl. Now I want the dark ones. These ones down here. Now these are quite fine hackles. So Fibre length, not too long. Make sure you get a nice one. The stems on these are really thin, so these this is an this is an easy hackle to actually wind on. Just drawing back some of the fly the fluff. Get back. We watch sometimes you can break the stem of these. And again I'm gonna tie this in by the tip. And what I'm gonna do here is come in two or three turns, fold this back. Get a nice base of wax thread in there, so that when I wind this hackle it's going to get plenty of grip. And then you're looking, you'll not get many turns out of this feather anyway, so I would probably use it up and tidy up at the same time, because you're tidying this up. As I say, you're probably, unless you're fishing an island, I'd certainly say this fly is worth having in your box when the mayfly are coming off. As you can see, I folded that back. Just basically then concentrating and getting a nice head. Forgetting the hackle at this point, just come in and wet finish. And at the same time, I'm just controlling the turns so that I can tie the material in and tidy up. Turn away there, break away the hackle and then I'm just going to open this out so you can see the colour mix. Just pull it all together. Now you may have to brush some of these fibres out so use a, just a normal, so I use a kind of cut up brush, toothbrush here, you can brush a blend these fibres together. Now, I know it does look a, an awful lot of dressing there on a fly, and it is, to be honest with you. There's a lot of dressing on there for an average fly. But the colour combination, big waves, if you're fishing an Irish loch, good size wave coming down the loch. These are cast in front and fished. I'm drawing through, I'm drawing up and through the, the waves, and the fish do like them. Now what I'm going to do here is just come in a wee touch of the super glue, just touching the head just to seal it all up and just allow that to set and the super glue is sets really quick and because it sets really quick then I can varnish it within a minute or so and then the fly is finished. And there we are and that's a, it's a variant of the, the Melvin gauze.